Several loud booms could be heard in Lafayette Saturday afternoon after a semis burst into flames on Interstate 65. News 18 Samantha Tiki joins us now with the latest on the accident and why one resident says it's like nothing he's ever heard before. Samantha? Elizabeth, one resident I spoke to says he knew something bad had happened but didn't know what. And it wouldn't take long for many to hear about the fiery crash that backed up tra traffic on I-65 for hours. Police say it's a crash that could have been much worse. As traffic moves on Interstate 65 Sunday afternoon, there is still evidence of the fiery crash that happened just a day before. It shook the house. I mean, we couldn't figure out, you know, it was um, definitely something big and something different. Chuck Hakama lives next to I-65 and says he heard the explosions from Saturday afternoon's crash. We heard the boom and it was almost like there must have been police or somebody close by because there were sirens that went off pretty quickly. The northbound lane of I-65 was finally reopened just before 5 a.m. Sunday after crews spent more than 12 hours cleaning up after the multi-vehicle wreck. Indiana State Police Sergeant Kim Riley says the crash happened when a vehicle lost control and wrecked in the northbound lane of I-65 just north of the State Road 26 exit. A semi then slowed to avoid the accident, causing a chain reaction. The semi is behind him, the vehicle's behind. That semi was uh, traveling either too fast for conditions and or were just following too close, couldn't get stopped as he slowed down and then the chain reaction started. The initial crash involved nine semis and four cars. More than 10 cars were involved in secondary accidents along the interstate. Four people were taken to the hospital with minor injuries and released. This, this crash yesterday could have been a lot worse. Just make sure that you've got the distance that you can stop if something does happen in front of you. Sergeant Riley says this is a good example of why it's important to keep emergency equipment like blankets and water in your car. Many stra drivers were stranded on the interstate for more than five hours. Samantha Tiki, News 18.